Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on your post notification bell so you know every single time that I post a video. Let's see what's going on, what we might need to know currently at this time. So there's something about two people that are in a relationship or you could be dating this person. Somebody here loves you. Okay, or there's something that they're holding back from you here. There's some sort of sneakiness that's going on. What's the seven of swords? There's something about this person that you don't know. I don't know if it's about their um, their sexual partners or who they might be dealing with other than you. This person's last name could be Armstrong. Sorry, y'all. Give me a minute. Yeah, Virgos, I'm seeing here that somebody is still dealing with or maybe flirtatious with this person. I feel like somebody could be telling you that that's someone that they moved away from or this could be your situation. I'm not too sure. But I'm getting that this person is keeping this information to themselves or they know that you're looking into them. Okay, as much as you're trying to be reassured by this person or you were reassuring yourself, I feel like it's already apparent, okay? Something is already apparent that it seems like somebody's trying to drag you through this complicated dynamic or put you through a third-party situation, okay? Gemini, air sign, Aquarius, Libra. I'm seeing Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There's some form of money or an opportunity or something that's being gifted to you is going to happen or somebody may want something from you. Okay, somebody is in demand of whatever this is. This could be um, some form of transportation um, or something moving forward. Yeah, this is some form of a judgment. Yeah. Somebody feels like you're blocking them out or not telling them something, or this could be vice versa here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clarify the lovers. Somebody is sneaking around or has a love interest that they're hiding from you, or you may be doing this to them. What's the lovers? I'm telling you. Somebody's in a full-blown relationship dealing with an ex on the side, but there's some form of karmic justice or somebody's calling judgment or awareness to some sort of illusion or fear of some kind. Somebody is afraid of what they already know intuitively. And it looks like somebody here who either you're dealing with or this person is dealing with whoever you're dating, this person is controlling an individual because of having to be frugal. Is somebody like still handling business with their ex or doing something with their ex to get money here? Yeah. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when they hear what's going on, okay? Somebody is going to be perceived as a manipulator, okay? Somebody, I hear someone saying, what has gotten into you? Somebody has like a weird name. It starts with the letter J, okay? also heard the name Armstrong. That's a last name. Okay. okay. 
since we're talking about this whole love situation, I'm going to pull one of these cards to see what's going on. What do we need to know? What's the message here? Okay, so we have financial support. Somebody here has to abide by a, some sort of relationship because they don't want to get in trouble with the government pertaining to some form of a payment. Has something to do with a, a vehicle or something, a child, um, a marriage or something. Yeah, look, retaliation and heartbroken. Somebody here needs to call upon Archangel for protection or there is some sort of confirmation about protection from somebody from the past. Somebody, I, I told you there's some sort of move, a physical location change, etc. That's happening. Somebody, somebody here may have to, uh, somebody feels like they owe someone. Okay, and I don't know if this is because somebody is still um, paying for a, a car that is belonging to you or your person, etc. But that's what I'm picking up here. Okay, somebody's using the fact that they are paying for everything for this person and um That's just what it is. Or somebody may have damaged a vehicle that they are having to deal with this person on a level because they want it. So somebody is really forcing a person to be with them. Yeah, trap. In order to not have the government go after them or whatever the case may be. We have trap, jackass, and habits. Somebody here could have been drinking or mixed uh, alcohol and drugs together at a party or at a gathering. This could be like a polygamous connection. This is like a karmic cycle here that's going on. Tell me more about this trap energy. What is this trap energy? Oh, wow. I told you it has something to do with money, an offer, um, resources, or something that is being given. Okay. Somebody is making sure a person is stable by what they're able to pay for. This could be a home, a vehicle, or whatever the case may be. Somebody is not being honest. Somebody in their head doesn't feel like they're dealing with the person because they want to. It's because they're being forced. Okay. So that they won't have to worry about payments or um, whatever the case may be. But somebody's trying to find a way out of it. Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, Cusper could be significant. The number seven is showing up twice, okay? There's some sort of spiritual awakening, good luck, um, ascensions that are happening right now in the spiritual realm, between the physical and the spiritual realm. And who is this jackass here? Is the one that's being dishonest. Could be you or this person or the third party. Whoever this Leo person is, the five of wands energy that it's giving, it's like somebody is compromising because they are financially dependent on this Virgo or Leo, whoever this is. Yes, yeah, somebody's actually depressed that they're missing real opportunities that they, they want or need. But the only way to survive is to still have your head held high with your self-esteem intact. Yeah, I feel like before you know it, you're going to hit a time where things become a little hard financially, or you could be feeling abandoned. 
or somebody is willing to drop the ball because they feel that's their justice. Okay. Libra, heavy Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer, Virgo, Leo. What is this bad habits here? Okay, so it looks like somebody feels as if their karma is just to keep living this life of decay. Somebody's just like running their life into the ground. They feel like this is the best way to suppress whatever's going on in their life currently. This is a cry out for help. Seriously, like this is a cry out for help, 9-11 or 119. Okay, somebody could be um, from the Caribbean, Jamaica to be exact, because I know that's the number that would be called for the emergency police or whatever. Yep. I feel like somebody knows that it's time to make some changes, but they're holding back or feel like there's some sort of delays of getting the help that they need. Let's see what else is going on. What do we need to know for Virgo? Okay, so there's a wedge. Somebody is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Somebody's aware that this person is trying to get themselves out of this trap. Okay, there is something that is going to be received or you're going to be giving something. Okay, there's something about a box. Somebody is feeling tied down or frustrated here. We have the arrow at the bottom of the deck. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. There's also fire, energy, strong emotion of passionate love or hate. Somebody hates or may be happy for you, however it goes. I really do feel like somebody is angry. There's a lot of rage, envy, jealousy when it comes to somebody that knows or feels like you're going in the right direction. That's why they feel they have to block you or take something from you or whatever the case may be. Who is this person with this wedge energy? Who is this person with this wedge energy? Okay, nine of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that wants things to be their own way. They might not do things the right way either. So this is a criminal. Somebody that, that has criminal intent to get positive changes in their own life. To make things right. Okay, this could be somebody that uh, courted you or is thinking to court you here or you may be meeting someone through a person that you know, whoever this nine of pentacles is. This could be an ex coworker or somebody that you've um, worked with or it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be a friend here also or a neighbor, could be anybody. This could be three different individuals or two people with the same MO that are working together to make sure that you don't have this. Whoever this person is that's working against you, these could be ex coworkers or somebody that you have some sort of business plan or setup of a business with, or it doesn't have to be. This is somebody that lacks, um, ambition or they might be in the uh, business of criminal activity somebody wants the changes that you've been able to receive from the universe and they feel like they have to lie cheat deceive and manipulate to get it okay for some of you this is about your love life or something taking off for you here yeah somebody feels like it's not fair that you get you know, you get to be with somebody that's like of feral status or someone that is wealthy. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants this too because the Ten of Cups is hidden. They just can't see when their time is coming.
okay? So they're trying to dismantle what your potentials are so that y'all will be at the same level here, okay? This is somebody that's amplifying um, whatever it is that they're contemplating or conjuring up. Tell me more about this box with this gift that you will receive. Mm. It's coming from a king of pentacles. I feel like you shouldn't trust this person or this person could be going through um, a lack of uh, faith, values, respect, or somebody feels disrespected. Okay. Somebody was disrespected by a person that um, might not see eye to eye with them or with you. Yep. Ten of ten of pentacles to the uh, hangman. Somebody's hung up over over a business deal, a promo, or some sort of money inheritance, etc. Yep. Somebody feels like a person is just a pick me, or there's something about a choosy individual, or somebody choosing something here. What's this uh, King of Pentacles? Tell me more. Why is it in reverse for this gift? Yeah, I feel like you need to let somebody have something. You need to, somebody wants you to hold on to something that you shouldn't be having anything to do with. You should have anything to do with this here. Yeah, because something could very well um, backfire or work out, or you could just get lucky. Somebody has to think about what's at their fingertips before they, they even go through with something here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could have like, um, somebody's life could potentially be in danger because of what you're being given. You become collateral. What's this yoke? Feeling tied down or frustrated? Why is this yoke here? What are you feeling tied down or frustrated about? It has something to do with uh, things not moving at the pace that you actually desired it to. I feel like you don't understand or you're not learning or gaining anything from this. So I feel like you're going to explore or, you know, challenge yourself to... To micromanage something here. The Ten of Wands is like overcoming something. What's this Ten of Wands? The Hermit Virgo energy. Okay. Somebody's looking into a particular connection or some sort of forming of a relationship. Somebody is very curious about you or you are about them or there's a third party that's curious about the two of you. Somebody feels like they can not avoid the recklessness that they want to indulge in when it comes to information. Okay, I feel like there's some sort of like sudden blockage there's going to be some sort of sudden blockage in something. And it's because of a, an older woman, somebody that's, yeah, look, there's some sort of blockage here from an older woman, the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. She's blocking this queen of swords is the, the sugar mama or somebody that takes care of this person. She's mad because there was some sort of correspondence or hearing of a correspondence that was happening or um, something of the sort, something forming this two of cups. This is why she's mad. Okay. I feel like she's working with this king of swords to find out what's going on. That's why the blockages are suddenly happening. <laughs> Somebody will get hurt, Ten of Swords. Or is it Eight of Swords that I've seen? One of them. Okay. Somebody's after the money that you might have or um, your position in your career or something that will allow a person to take off 
or be looked at as, you know, the main person. Somebody is mad that they're like hiding behind the shadows or somebody not giving them the respect. This is a baby mother. Okay. This has something to do with a baby's mother. Message. Okay. So we do have perfect timing, but not the right time. Okay. What is this perfect timing and not the right time? Somebody needs to make a decision. It looks like. Or something may look like the perfect time, but it not, may not be the right time. Spirit is telling you that you're ready. Something's going to be successful. You need to let go. Okay. You're ready to take on some form of success, but it's up to you. You need to choose what side of the road you're going to be on. Let's see here. Can we see what's going on with Virgo's money or career? We have denial. Okay. So perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than what it is. What are you refusing to see? It's better to live in the truth than a lie. If you've been putting up a false front to make money, it's time to remove that mask. Okay. Somebody needs to stand in their life purpose. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. What is meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push hard. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. Let's see. Message for Virgo. Okay. What do we need to know for Virgo currently at this time? Okay, so I feel like what's coming up in love for you, Virgo, has something to do with you letting go of a person that you might miss. Because I feel like it, it could interfere with a potential engagement, partnership, or commitment here. I feel like something is getting ready to be completed, but you need to let go of the past. And I feel like you or this person have been wearing a mask pertaining to your feelings, intentions, etc. Somebody has been acting like they, they're ready to let this go, but there could be a front that's being put up here. Okay. What's the message? Message for Virgo. Okay, so you're seeing through the fog. Your vision is getting clear to what you really want or what might make you happy. And this is what's going to allow you to step into your life purpose. But there has been somebody that's having sexual fantasies about you. Okay, this could have been the very person that got you fired or that you might have been disrupted with work uh, lately or in the recent past, depending on um, when this took place. But I feel like you're going to find out all the answers that you need because there were skeletons in somebody's closet pertaining to money that somebody might have uh, paid to keep you at bay. Yep. This has something to do with a person that is a copycat or known as a doppelganger that may have did some sort of like um, moon magic spell work to mess with your emotions so that you wouldn't get some sort of update or upgrade here. Or this is happening for your person. Take it as it resonates. Message of Virgo. Okay, so somebody knows this person's secret externally to you, and it's about to be exposed 
They said they're forgiving you, but they aren't and they still resent you. However, the problems that they're having with this person that they have a marital situation with is coming from having different personalities. Things aren't meshing right now because they can feel the energy of two people growing apart. Okay. And this person may be angry, could be a Caucasian woman. They're angry that this person is using all of their time to make decisions that they shouldn't be outside of their marriage. Okay. Somebody feels like this marriage is still salvageable, or at least they want to try, but somebody is just not holding on mentally. Somebody's still in love with or is in love with somebody else, okay? Somebody's criminal past is catching up to them. And they're trying to locate you right now or you may be trying to locate them. But this person will do nothing more than break your heart and play with your mind. Use political views and force them onto others just to ghost you. Somebody here might have been ghosted because... They were sleeping with more than one person and they found out that they have an STD. Okay. And I feel like whatever truth there is to this, uh, this reading right here, they, they're not really sure if they got it from you or whatever the case may be. Somebody's accusing you of being the person that they got it from. Okay. Meanwhile, the karmic that they've dealt with, or um, witches and warlocks that they could be um, identifying with is using evil spells to be casted onto anybody that seems to be holding this person's uh, attention. Okay. But there's something about this person that is going to be exposed. Let's see here. Tell me more. What is the secret that is about to be exposed about your past person or your friend, whoever this person is in this storyline? What are we going to learn about this person? We have the three of swords in reverse. We have the King of Swords, the Hierophant in Reverse Taurus, Gemini, Libra could be significant. Somebody here is rebelling against their spiritual practices or their religion. And... Somebody is definitely doing something to someone that seems to be very, somebody wants to drop out of a marriage or some sort of religion. And I feel like they're trying to get somebody to understand where they're coming from, or this could be some sort of like, open investigation to something. Tell me more about this Hierophant here because we have crown chakra. There's some sort of awareness of intelligence. Hmm. Somebody here is trying not to have too much amusement on them or eyes on them because they're deemed special or this could be you. Okay. Somebody's after people that are gifted. Somebody's on the hunt for people that are gifted. And I feel like somebody is trying to collect. This reminds me of that movie Freaks. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just picking that energy up. I don't know why. It's about that little girl that has powers and they bleed from their eyes. There's something about you and your mind or your level of intelligence that somebody here wants to do some form of testing or uh, 
bringing all the gifted people together for some reason. Okay. Hmm. I'm really feeling like that. The numbers 10, 13, and 6 could be significant here. Or somebody here wants to know about the relationship that's going on behind closed doors or between you and somebody. Okay. We did see the King of Swords earlier. And it looks like this King of Swords knows whoever this, this person, this ex, this friend is of yours externally to you, whoever their karmic is, this karmic is sicking the king of swords on you and your person. Somebody here that was sent to spy or uh, use monitor used to be used as monitoring spirits. This person could be falling for you. Okay, but they're hiding it. They feel like in due time, they'll tell you, but not right now. I'm telling you, Ace of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and tap into these cards currently. Okay, so we have add some. Number 22 could be significant to you. We have the eight of keys. So the master artisan. There's something about your talents or gifts here. I told y'all it's about your spiritual knowing or knowledge. I'm telling you, will, wisdom, and mind. Okay. Let's see what this add some is about. The number 102 could be significant. So it looks like there's something about your strength and focus in the present that can be used as a word to find yourself or what you're distracted. What, what's keeping you distracted, okay? The word also declares your arrival at your goals and all wishes coming true. Something is coming true for you. And I feel like you are closer than ever. And this, this king of swords wants to know whatever this is. They want to know through you reflecting or talking about what your gifts are. They're going to act like they want to help you so that they... They can do something. What's this in crescent moon? I'm seeing the in crescent moon here. Let's see. So, yes. By them understanding how your mind works or what powers you have. They're able to get closer to whatever is allowing you to level up in increase abundance and growth in your life. So beware of this, this king of swords. Okay. Let's see what's going on in love for Virgo. There's going to be some sort of uh, change of scenery or somebody wanting to take you out of the country or whatever this is. But I don't feel like this is going to fix or allow you to be more or less attracted to this person because their fate is already sealed or something has already ran its course. There's going to be less of magnetism and needing to focus on healing uh, some sort of like familial situation that you got going on with your family, your friends, your own parents, etc. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more here. Okay. 
Okay, so we have mentor. Passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. Somebody is definitely trying to recreate what they're able to learn from you through the wisdom that you give them. Because you come with being not only a physical warrior, but you are a spiritual one as well. And the attributes that you bring is strength, skill, discipline, and just your hard exterior. Somebody sees you as an ultimate hero, okay? And they want to take the risk to become the same type of artist or to have the mindset, to share the same mindset as you so that they can learn to shapeshift. But using that shapeshifting energy and uh, wisdom that you send on to them to cause destruction okay this is somebody that's an energy vampire here okay let's see what's the message what is it that we need to know okay so we do have marionette in reverse okay Somebody's going to go through some sort of loss thinking that they can control or connect with you. They're angry that they can't get you to do whatever it is that they want you to do. Okay. You're too powerful. You're too knowledgeable. It's like, you know exactly what's happening and they're starting to realize that they can't steal your fate here, whatever that is. Okay. I am seeing self-love idea and loneliness. So somebody here could be causing concern with other people about you, or you may be concerned about you um, finding your own independence to love on yourself. Okay. I feel like the more time that you spend with yourself, and I'm not saying you have to be alone all the time, but sometimes you need that space and energy away from others to kind of just build mentally. Okay. Sometimes you need to be alone and in isolation to get away from all the distraction and the noise. Okay. There's something about needing to be in hermit mode. I'm seeing uh, the numbers 41, 31 and 43. So there's something about the numbers four and one. Okay. You are divinely protected from any sorts of danger. Okay. Somebody is just trying to find themselves or the love that they should show themselves because without showing yourself love, how are you able to love others? Okay. Tell me more. Yep. I feel like the more time that you're spending with yourself, you're understanding what your heart wants and understanding your worth and what you will not put up with. And attracting exactly everything that you need in your life to, to allow it to be complete. So I'm also picking up that somebody's stressed out about some sort of fate or fated situation. Okay. Somebody's afraid that they might meet their karma. Somebody has some sort of guilt that's built up. Somebody feels guilty for not, you know, being in the alliance with you, not connecting with you on a level. Let's see. Message. For Virgo. Uh-oh, somebody going to prison. Okay, somebody could be trying to put a good prison. Uh, somebody could be trying to put a good woman or a lady behind prison. Okay, in such a short time. Okay, I feel like somebody may have premeditated doing this. So the plan is already set in motion. 
somebody's just waiting for a pickup to happen yeah somebody's trying to set a trap for you at home before they know you're supposed to leave this is someone that knows your your routine or has been paying close attention to you yep or your children or there's something about a masculine energy Tell your children if they're going out, please do not talk to strangers either. I don't even care if somebody's stopping to ask them a question. Tell that person you got to go. Yep. I feel like somebody had already met prior to whoever this person is in prison and maybe hiring this, this individual to get you caught up into some mess. Okay, or somebody is trying to um, make it apparent that some sort of illness may have come from you or somebody here could be trying to make you sick. Okay. Somebody is coming to have a conversation with you, but I feel like there's something about um, travel that could be impaired or slowed down or whatever this is because somebody is um, robbed in the midst of something. Somebody's going to end up robbing because I do see a rat on this card. Somebody's going to end up ratting on this individual. The number is 29, 4, 9, 31. Could be significant. Somebody here could be suicidal or just really sad. That they work so hard. Whoever this person is, they're a masculine only to have a blindsided situation happen. For some of you, this was orchestrated through the courts. Or people of the court or legal system that set this all up for a man to go towards you to be stolen from theft because this person was supposed to give you something. Now the legal system and whoever this money, this money is supposed to go to, you were supposed to get this letter and you have it. And that's because somebody's getting railroaded on their way there before you even receive this. Okay. for Virgo okay so I see solar plexus chakra this is coming up in reverse I feel like somebody here is not confident in exposing somebody or some sort of lie that they know about because they feel like even if they do expose it what are the chances that they will be uh, successful in this somebody is playing the waiting game pertaining to some sort of like prosperity that that begins or something that takes off somebody here could be 33 years old somebody here has love and compassion for uh, the person that they work for who may be in charge somebody could be loyal to a person in power but I feel like where things get disconnected is that there is no balance tranquility or patience of some kind or something somebody could be a zero tolerance type of person yeah, somebody doesn't want to run into obstacles and challenges trying to expose someone, okay, for this to backfire or for somebody to think that they have no loyalty here because that's not the case. Somebody doesn't want to look like they're turning against the one person that could have been in their corner this whole time. Somebody's riding on some sort of money to come in for them. That's why they're holding off on not speaking on 
this uh, lie or a secret that's supposed to be told. Tell me more. A Virgo. Okay, so it looks like something that was supposed to come very soon is being delayed. But I feel like Spirit is telling you to hold back on somebody that could be coming towards you, acting like it's safe for you to love. It might not be safe for you to be with this person on an intimate level. If this person decides to come very soon, somebody is definitely leaving options behind to face their fears into the light. So they might be coming in to celebrate, take you out to, for drinks or whatever the case may be. So I feel like this could be a warning for some of you here. Either somebody is super fertile or you're being um, called away from someone that might be having a lot going on sexually. Okay. You might even get someone here that will uh, call you to tell you how they feel. Yep. This is somebody coming in with fast movement or somebody could drive a really fast car here. Yeah, you might not even feel the same way as this person because of all of the people that they listened to in the recent past. Whoever this person is, they could have some sort of fire sign placement, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like somebody is no longer um, allowing the people that they may have put before you to mix them up about what they're wrong about or what steps they're taking. I feel like there's some sort of overwhelming energy that's taking over this person when it comes to the realization of you being a twin flame. Okay. I feel like somebody is in regret of allowing a air sign feminine or masculine to sabotage this connection or to use them to self-sabotage their own. Okay. Anyway, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.